Howdy. Well, we're worn out again, but not because we're very productive. Uh, and got up this morning, and of course, take a look at this. Yep, yep. monkey number three, resting in peace. And uh, so we hung around a little bit, chatted, thought about all the stuff that we were going to do. <laughs> and then I said, you know what? I need to get everything transferred in the VA, so let's go over there. And JR had an appointment anyway, so we went over there. And boy, I didn't realize the difference between the little, little town VA, Veterans Administration, and getting into a little bit bigger city. Man, we, it was a long time. But uh, I see the first guy. He's going to go ahead and get all my stuff transferred. And he's a cool guy. He's a nice guy and all that. And so I asked him because I need to get my, get my hearing checked. Uh, so I said, you know, can I, he gives me a phone number. He gives me the phone number, writes it down, I put it in my pocket. I said, uh, what about getting my hearing checked? And he says, yeah, those are the same people. You call them and they'll set you up with your primary care physician and all that kind of stuff. So I said, okay. So then they had a little office there who would do for you what I've been meaning to get done. And that's, you, you, you put everything online, myhealthyvet.com, something like that. And uh, they do it all for you. And a couple ladies in there, and they were very good, very efficient. They got it all done. And I, at the end, I asked, I said, is this the number that I call if I want to get my hearing test set up and everything? And so they take the number and they look at the extension, the extension 4202. And they, they go into their book and they can't find it. So then they say, well, let's just dial it. And they dial it and there's a busy sound, you know, that kind of thing. So they try again in a little while, try again. And so they check with somebody and that somebody says, there's no such extension. <laughs> Glad I asked. So then they tracked the guy down that gave it to me and I don't know what the deal was, but ultimately they just took me to the place where it needs to be done and they actually put me in front of the line and a uh, real nice, very capable lady just handled everything, called up the department needed to and said, here, talk to this guy, set him up with a hearing test. But this is how busy they are. The earliest I could get a hearing test was December 28th in the morning. And I'm on what they call EWT, which is electronic waiting. Uh, is it EWT? No, e -W, e w l electronic waiting list. And uh, because as soon as that they'll be able to go through the procedure of getting me up, set up with a regular doctor and stuff is 90 days. <laughs> so pretty much next year. <laughs> <coughs> but they were all real nice people, everything else. Except the practical joker that gave me a number that doesn't exist. I'm not going to say he was nice. <laughs> Pretty funny though. I laughed about it. He probably had a betting pool. How many times will this guy call? I got five dollars on six times. What do you want? <laughs> and then the lady went in and ruined it for him. <laughs> but I took some pictures out there. I put some of those in here. To the car, I open up the back hatch, and here's what I see. <laughs> now tell me that doesn't look like we didn't do anything. Security lied. We didn't do it. It wasn't us. We've been right here all the time. We didn't move. <laughs> Two innocent little angels. And I, I spotted something that you guys, motorcyclists, you probably can appreciate this. And the pictures don't do it justice. It was really, really nice. Take a look at this. Isn't 
isn't that cool? Isn't that just a cool truck? Man, I like that truck. That was so sharp. But anyways, it's getting in on the day. So I'm going to wrap this up. So till tomorrow, be strong, be happy, be a good neighbor, and be happy no matter how long you have to wait to see a doctor. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.